All right, so if you've heard about DeepSeek and you would like to try out their models, if you hop out to DeepSeek.com, this is your entry point here. And the very first option you have here is to open up their chat experience. So this is going to be like ChatGPT.com. And then you've got a message box, of course. You have your history of messages over here. And then there are a couple of options here. First off, you can toggle on their reasoning model or off. So with that turned off, you're using the chat model. If you turn that on, then you're using their reasoning model. So they've got two models to pick from right now. And then you also have a toggle here for searching the web. So if you want to ask it a question to find something on the web, you have that as well here. So I could do something like find me the DeepSeek R1. Find me the DeepSeek R1 repository. Of course, without the search, without being able to search the web, it probably can't find that though. Maybe it did here. Okay, found that there. Let's try that again though. So let me see, can I edit this? Yep, I can edit this. And then down below, I'm gonna to toggle on search here. And so now when I submit this again, it should actually have some search results it uses. So yeah, it's searching the web here, just like ChatGPT. It's got results that it's going through right now. I believe you can click to open those up on the right. Yep, you can see those on the right now. So you have an entire chat experience, just like with ChatGPT. It is entirely free, which is incredibly cool. And then if you'd like to use something besides the chat interface on a desktop, come back to their homepage. They've got a link here to their application. If I come over to QuickTime here, I can connect up to my screen on my iPhone here. So here is the application. Uh, I don't know what that wants. Other device, fine. You can see it's got a chat interface. Ask a question just like you can do with ChatGPT. You can also attach photos, images, documents. You can enable search if you want. Ask a question here and get a response. Just like everything else, it's a beautiful looking app. Of course, you have the history of your questions as well. And so there you go. You can see it's got an answer here. As of January 21st, it's actually January 20th today, but that's fine. That works. So yeah, you can use the application. And then in addition to the application, if you come up to the upper right here, there's a platform section. Just like OpenAI, you can generate API keys. You can look at your usage. You can top up or basically deposit money. You can do that with actually PayPal as well. I'm going to try this out here. Can I make a curl call and let's just grab the models. So I'll use my API token I generated here, pass it into the API deepseek.com slash models, run it through JQ here. And there you go. You can see there are two models available. This is in the OpenAI API compatible format here for models. You can also use this for completions, of course. And then you can see the two models here. We have DeepSeek chat. So that is the model that's used by default in that chat website. That's called V3. And then there's also DeepSeek Reasoner, which is the R1 model, which you've probably heard about. So that is the reasoning model. And it is the answer basically to O1 from OpenAI. And then in addition to the API, I'll have a separate video coming out about how you can actually run these models because they've been open source. They're MIT licensed as well, which is incredibly cool. I'll show you in a separate video how you can run these locally using Olama. So keep an eye out for that.